Hello, Lafayette Lions. It's Mrs. Grill. I am so excited. Do you want to know why? Because you are coming back to school, either in person or zooming in. We have a short video for you today. Parents, you're going to see our mitigation, and students, you're going to see the building. Some of the things we are doing are the same when you were here in November, and some are different. So I'm going to let Ms. Wynn and Ms. Marmo show you the building and the information that you need to know. Enjoy your day with grace and purpose. Welcome back, Lafayette families and students. This is Ms. Marmo. I am so excited for you to come back to school next week. Hi, Lafayette. It's Ms. Wynn. I can't wait to see all of our students on site and our Zoomers on screen. Check out this video for some great information. When coming onto Lafayette property, make sure that you have a mask on at all times and maintain a safe distance from others. Look for these signs as reminders around the building. Arrival and dismissal is similar to what it was in the fall. Car riders will be dropped off and picked up by the gym lobby doors in the car loop. Parents must remain in their vehicles during drop off and arrival. The gym lobby doors is door one. Daycare vans and buses will drop off and pick up students at the main entrance of the building in front of the steps. Parents and guardians may not park in front of the steps or along the curb during the hours of 8.25 to 8.50 a.m. Walkers in grades one through five will arrive and dismiss from the old bus loop on the side of the building facing Hershey Avenue. Grades one and five will arrive and dismiss from the doors and the steps closest to the parking lot and baseball field, and grades two, three, and four will arrive and dismiss from the doors and steps closest to St. Joseph Street. All K-4 and kindergarten students need to be accompanied by an adult for arrival and dismissal at the St. Joseph Street area during arrival and dismissal. This is at door five. Here is an example of one of our classrooms in our building. Students on site will receive a water bottle that they can use when they are here in the building. Students, don't forget to bring your iPads every day to school. Students coming on site will receive a breakfast in the morning when they get to school. All students who are zooming into their classrooms will need to look for communication from your teacher on Class Dojo for more information on material pickup. Parents, if you are not already signed up on Class Dojo, please contact your child's teacher to get connected. Leo is so excited to have students back in the building. Welcome back, Lafayette students. Dr. Shea here, I just want to take a moment to say I am so excited and cannot wait to see your smiling faces on Monday, January 25th, whether you're on Zoom or in person. Make sure you get a good night's sleep on Sunday and we'll see you on Monday.